Good morning, Marnie here. It is Monday, May 8th, which means it is time for Marnie's Monday Mag Makes. And I did finish with my make this week. It was small, so I was done within uh, just a few hours. Uh, uh, it is a doily. Plus, I also used, um, they called for, the, the pattern called for a uh, two- or three weight. I actually used a four weight, but kind of a thin four weight cotton. Um, so anyway, the pattern I did for this week came from uh, Crochet World, February 2019. And that's the doily I made last week. And this week I did the uh, for this week, rather, I did the uh, Berry Delight Doily. I did mine in white. And I used, see where it went to. I used the uh, Lion Brand 24-7 cotton. So that's what I used. And this pattern is by Catherine Ng. I don't know how you say that, E-N-G. Uh, so I will go ahead and show you my doily. I like it, I, lo I actually really enjoyed it. I did not block this one, I did not starch it. I don't think it really needed it. I could have, but I didn't. And as usual, I will put a picture over here to show you what it looks like on the table. And yeah, I really liked this one. I liked it a lot. I may even make another one someday, who knows. But uh, yeah, it took a lot less time than last week's doily. Last week's doily took me, uh, I'd say about four or five days to make because it was so big and it was had all the cables in it. So yeah, that, it was intricate and it yeah it was and it was kind of frustrating at times I did have to rip some out um, I did not have to rip anything out of this one this one was uh, relatively easy and I really liked it all right so for next week gotta go easy again because I am trying desperately <laughs> To get some other stuff done that I have planned for Christmas and I feel like I'm I know it is only May but I feel like I'm running out of time here because Christmas always sneaks up and you know you get to uh, October and November is like ah oh, I've got all these people that I have things I want to make for for Christmas and I've only got this much done so yeah so I'm gonna pick easy this week so for this week's project for next week, I am doing this project out of Crochet World, October 2021. And I'm about to lose it here. If I could find the cover. October 2021. And I had the pattern. There it is. So this time, and I, I'm probably going to chop this up, pronouncing it, uh, it is called the Albors Coasters. That's what they look like. And there is, I think there's just two, um, a small and a large. I guess continued on page 12 let's see um, yeah there's just a small and large coaster so that is what I am going to be doing this is a oh boy I don't think I can say that name designed by you know what <laughs> that person right there I'm not gonna even attempt to pronounce that because I will chop it to pieces. So, yeah, there you go. That is the 
project that I plan on doing for next Monday. And if anybody would like to join me, please do. And you can let me know in the uh, comments below if you're going to join in with me. And I will make sure to, uh, like in next week's video, I will make sure to make it known that you have also done a video for the Albors coasters. Cut back in here and interrupt for a second. If you do decide to do this, uh, this project with me for next Monday and you don't have a channel, you can email me with pictures of your project if you do this, and I will make sure to leave my email address in the description box below. And if you do email me with a picture, uh, just label it um, Albor's Coasters, and I will make sure to feature it in next week's video. Thanks. In this issue, Crochet World October 2021. Now, I was going to do uh, a finished object today, but I think I'm going to wait until Wednesday and I'm going to do a Whips and Foes video. Uh, I did get the baby blanket done uh, for my nephew and his wife. They're expecting their third child in August. So I got it done this morning, early this morning, and I had to steal from a project that never went anywhere. I mean, I actually finished the one project, but I didn't like the way it turned out, so I kind of scrapped it and made a different one. It was for my my great niece last for this past Christmas. I didn't like the way it turned out, so I ended up making her another one. So, uh I had to steal from that <laughs> to finish because I ran out of yarn on the last row of the last round of the blanket. Are you kidding me? So I lost it, yarn chicken. So anyway, I got it done, got all the strings sewn in. I love the way it turned out, and I will show that on Wednesday. So that is going to do it for today. I'm going to spend the rest of the day probably just crocheting. I'm going to work on my sister's blanket, um, my niece's table runner. I'm going to at least add one or two squares to that today. I didn't do any of it over the weekend on either one. I just worked on the baby blanket for my nephew and his wife. So, yeah, that's going to do it. I'm just going to, and I'm also going to have my coffee. And right here, I'm going to put in a clip of, uh, well, actually, it'll be in the next clip. You know what? Hold on just a second. <laughs> here is how I deal with, uh, not getting coffee splattered on my yarn while I'm working with it. I have this piece of cardboard that came in one of my Vitacost boxes and I just cut off one side of it and so I put like just a little divider barrier around the coffee maker while it's brewing and when it splashes it splashes on the cardboard and not my white yarn. <laughs> okay now I can close this video <laughs> so I'm going to have my coffee and I am having the kawaii caramel caramel crunch caramel uh, never can remember it Car coconut caramel coconut crunch coconut caramel crunch something like that so anyway the clip that I just showed you was what I do to keep the coffee from splattering everywhere because that gets on my nerves so bad. Uh, when I had my Keurig, I used to throw a towel over it and I don't know if in some way that messed it up or why it's, it doesn't work anymore, but I ended up throwing it out. So I thought this time, instead of putting a piece of cloth over it, I just used that method that I just showed you in that clip. And it works, it keeps the coffee off of my projects. <laughs> So, anyway, that's going to do it. Um, I hope everyone has a great day. If you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate it. Oh, and today is my 500th video. I have done 500 videos, apparently, on this channel as of today. So, <laughs> yay! <laughs> Still trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, though. So, 
Uh, yeah, I will see you on Wednesday with the Whips and Foes video. Take care. Bye-bye.